Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the end of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the end of March, beginning of April. Your first card, ooh, the devil card. All right, for some of you guys feeling restricted, feeling like um, <clears throat> like there is some something holding you guys back. I feel that for some of you, you may be dealing with the Capricorn energy. For others of you, I feel that uh, you may be feeling, like I said, very restricted. It could be that your partner is currently experiencing like a lot of jealousy, a lot of possessiveness. Um, for some of you guys, it could even represent like that the partner is like in this feeling of fear of losing you for some. Now, the obstacle here is, okay, so the nine of wands. Okay, so for some of you guys, it could be the feeling of restriction or the feeling of fear because someone's giving up or wanting to give up on the situation. I do see one of uh, someone with the nine of wands. It could be you or your partner, Scorpio, as it is a general reading. Um feeling like they're they're tired of the situation or they're going to be throwing in the towel. And this could be something very tested to you um, because I feel that someone in this connection or in this relationship is feeling like smothered, like they're walking on eggshells. They can't be themselves or you expect them to change uh, when they when they really can or they're choosing not to. Um so again, the devil is a binding type of energy. It, it, it shackles you. So what spirit is telling you is what's holding you back or what is it that is, um, what is it that the partner uh, is currently experiencing? Again, like I said, whether it's jealousy, whether it's possessiveness, anything like that, is that the reason why you're feeling like you're willing to throw in the towel now or are you just seeing the red flags? Or were you hopeful, thinking that they would change, and unfortunately, they didn't. Now, the past and passing is the night of uh, the night of Pentacles. So again, I feel that a lot of you guys have really been putting a lot of effort or energy towards this relationship. Unfortunately, it's been like a long, extremely long journey, and you're coming to the understanding that it's just not it's not cutting it out. Um, now, this could be you or this could be your partner, Scorpio, like I said. Uh, but the message here is what they're saying is if you've been dealing with this type of energy, right, with the partner that is very possessive, that is very jealous, that is constantly just making you walk on eggshells, like you can't be yourself because you're scared or upset that you're going to upset them. Um, you can live this way, Scorpio. Or your partner can live this way because it, it almost becomes a chore to have to deal with them. And if that's something that, again, you're hopeful that they're going to change, they're not because that's 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 just how they are. Whether it's because they've refused to heal things from the past, whether it's because they're, you know, carrying baggage from the past, whatever it is, what spirit is telling you is that this person is not going to change or is choosing not to change. So what is it that you're going to do? Are you going to continuously keep losing yourself in this re relationship just to keep it going? To ultimately feel like you're left feeling like it, it, it wasn't worth it? Is it going to take 10 years for you to realize that? Or are you realizing that now? Now your next card here is the Page of Cups. I feel that the Page of Cups is coming up in a reverse position. So again, uh... It's about a person that is promising you change or that is promising you some type of gift or some type of um, some type of promise that is coming up empty handed. Because when it's in reverse, it's like I'm promising you I'm going to change, but I, I choose not to or I change for a week and then next week I go back to the same the same toxic type of energy. Now, what's crowning you here is the not, uh, nine of swords. So again, restriction, feeling restricted, feeling like there is no way out or feeling like you just can't make a decision. But this is all mentally. 
Scorpio. This is all mental. This is not physical restraint. So again, what they're telling you here is if you continuously keep putting yourself in situations or in relationships where people are very toxic to you or you yourself are very toxic to them, it's not helping you progress. Um, being hopeful that someone's going to like you can keep going into relationships where you quickly come to see the red flags, but then you continuously keep hoping they will change because then later on when you don't see progress or you don't see it going like ever becoming stable, you can then ask, what is it that I'm doing wrong? Because you continuously keep putting up with this toxic type of energy. And it could be you making the decision that you're done with this or that you're done with dealing with people that are very toxic for you. Um, and it's the realizing that this is something that's been going or ongoing, but it's more of a mental like feeling stuck. It's you holding yourself back out of fear, out of being alone, perhaps scared of being alone uh, or scared of in your head thinking you're never going to find that stability or that long-term relationship. And what they're saying here is that you need to, you need to re release yourself from those shackles or from that mental slavery of thinking that you don't deserve better. So therefore you settle. I hope that makes sense. Once you're able to get through that Scorpio, you have the sun card. So this is spirit. This is the universe. This is God uh, bringing light, bringing light in darkness or opening pathways for your happiness or guiding you to your happiness. The advice card is temperance. You need to heal, Scorpio. You need to heal whether it's these types of toxic relationships or you need to heal from you being the toxic one. Like I said, it's a general reading, you guys. So keep that in mind. Bear that in mind. Uh, this could be you or this could be your partner's energy. But with the temperance, there is a need for being patient with yourself and taking time to heal. Taking time to fully restore yourself, your trust. Um, perhaps your trust is shattered. Perhaps it's very difficult for you to trust people. And that's the reason why. It, it, when when you become so emotionally invested in someone, maybe you become overbearing without realizing it. Uh, and it's based off of fear. Not that that's who you are. It's just that you're reacting in a way because of past experiences. I hope that makes sense. Now your next card here is the justice card. So feeling like you've been mistreated or you've been taken for granted um, ultimately aligning yourself and allowing yourself to heal, allowing yourself to detach from these toxic type of energies or these toxic people around you, to being able to find yourself again, uh, find the strength within you and find the joy out of life. It will help you heal, but it will also guide you towards the balance that you need in your life, as well as, um, good karmic energy, uh, like I said, if you've been feeling like you've been taken for granted, you've been mistreated, you will get to the point of feeling like there is, there's almost this feeling of like being vindicated, understanding that, that everything is unfolding or will be unfolding, even for those who have taken, have physically taken you for granted. And feeling blessed because you're able to detach yourself from that toxic type of energy. Now, your next card here is the 10 of swords. So there's definitely endings for you guys, Scorpio. Uh, if you do connect with this reading and you are currently in a situation where you feel restricted, perhaps you're doubting if you should continue putting effort or should you walk away from it. What spirit is telling you is if there's an ending that comes, embrace that ending, stop resisting it. Stop trying to hold on to it for dear life. Um, this is going to be ultimately to the best of your interest. What Spirit is telling you is that it's time for you uh, to take your power back, Scorpio, to take your, not only your power back, to take back your life and to completely remove yourself from these toxic type of energies. 
I see a lot of mental blockages. So for a lot of you guys, I think you're reacting based out of fear. Um, so again, the best way to do or the best way to disconnect from that is to take a step back and to realize that whatever it is that you're feeding your fears, it becomes stronger and stronger. Um, and if it's you, the one that has the tendencies of, you know, toxic type of energy or, you know, over obsession or, uh, over protectiveness or over jealousy, uh, what is it that's triggering you to react in such a way? Is it because they are tr mistreating you? And if they are, and they've given you reasons to mistrust them, then it's time for you to walk away from that. It's not serving you and it's not, it's not working for you. And if people tend to bring out the worst in us, then perhaps it's a person that shouldn't be in your life. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like share and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.